Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dredge, shall we? I'm just going to push Y, open up my ship, and we can look at the cabin and check out our pursuits. So, the main quest is searching for relics, and we also have a quest from a woman who wants to move. She needs lumber and scrap. There's a belt buckle that the bereft father is looking for, and we still need to catch these crabs. So we have a bunch of actual quests to do, and we also, if we are interested in upgrading our ship in any way, um, we're going to need to get supplies of our own to boost this up. Lumber, metal scraps, fabric. So, let's undock, and let's check out what we've got. Okay, one of our crab pots is ready. Hey, we got the Fiddler Crab. Great. So we're just going to take everything... And, um, this one doesn't have a crab in it. So let's immediately go back and turn in this quest. I'm just going to, um, oops. I'm going to get closer, and we're going to dock like this. And I'm going to go to the fishmonger. And he wants the crabs, and I say, yes, I got it. And we just kind of pick this up, push in the left stick, place this correctly. We get 53 bucks, and these will do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. The purple text means Cthulhu, means weird, strange, supernatural stuff, like the mutated fish. We already got one and sold it to him that began our quest at the lighthouse. What do you think happens to a person, or not the lighthouse, but the... Uh, the keep with the strange collector. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Um, they go mad? Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Alright, buddy. Now we can buy another crab pot, which I actually am going to. Now again, I'm not huge on these things, but they're pretty simple to set up and manage. So I'm just going to put one right over here. I'm going to push my left bumper, hold it down, select the crab pot, and then we'll push X and just drop it over. We got another crab out there. So what are we looking for? Well, the main thing I want right now, I don't really even need money as much as dredge. It, there's parts in this game where you're just going to focus on trying to get dredge so you can upgrade your ship. So I've got my spyglass. I'm going to select it. And there's blue mackerel. There's flounder. There is Oceanic, which we can't yet catch. Blue Mackerel. Um, so, so much of this right now is not Dredge. But there's some. Usually you can find Dredge around um, the kind of beach areas. And you can find shipwrecks like that as well. So, New Islands, I always like to just circumnavigate them so that I can find stuff like fresh dredge piles. This is a lumber pile. I'm just going to search it. And we'll probably get lumber. We're going to play Frogger. Jump, jump, pushing X to just make sure that as the wheel spins, we avoid crashing. And we only got one piece, which is sad, but where we're at. Here's, uh, this looks like some more dredge right here. I'm going to go right for it. Not necessarily a coast with sand, but even a cliff face like this, you might find that this is metal scrap, or that's what we'll primarily find here. You can find uh, the relics, the pieces that you need to upgrade and do research on your ship, the components, but there we go. So we got two metal scraps, we got some lumber. Dredge takes up a ton of time and a ton of space. So you kind of, like, usually are not really making money. Uh, oh, what's this? There's a rock right here with a fish on it. And if we it says a slab of rock juts out from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. So you can find these throughout the game. And there are fish that are curvy. And you basically need to place them here. And the pictures of them are on the outlines. I need to fit them into this shape. So we, we've already seen one type of fish that does this, but 
they're fish all throughout the game, and you can bring them back here and get a reward. It's optional, but it gives you a reward if you do it. Now, right here, look this. There's a shipwreck right on the beach. Sometimes you'll just see a glimmer, uh, and you need to just go over and inspect it, and it says all that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer, and you always want to just look inside and look at what we found. We found the research part, so these are the components that we need to upgrade our ship um, in terms of performing research to unlock new technologies. And we also found an old iron chain that we can sell and a citrine ring that we can sell as well as two lumber. So we're going to want to take as much of this as we can. If you can't take everything because you can't fit it when you find something like this, the game will always let you come back to this. It will not despawn or anything. So you can just make a note come back and get it but we were able to get everything now um my ship is pretty full so i need to go back an option that we do have though it's 504 is we can drive and i'll say drive because you know i'm dumb but you know uh motor our boat sail our ship you know i'm not sure like the the right verbs to use here. I'm not sailing. I don't have sails. I have a motor. So I guess I say we can motor over or move over, but sometimes I'll just use drive because that feels right and I realize I'm in a boat. But what we want to do is go over to this dock right here because if I look at the map by pushing um, up on the directional pad and zoom in, this has an X because it's anything on the map that has an X is a location that we need to explore for a quest. So this one is a pursuit. This is where the lady wants to move. We can drop off two of the lumber here for that quest. This is where I think we'll find the belt buckle of the uh, child that sunk at sea. Not really a child, just his child, but I think he was grown up when he did it. And then over here, um, you will see that this is where I believe we will find what we need for Blackstone Isle, the first artifact. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to go over here. And I'm just going to pull into the dock. And you can rest here. You can also do research. So we have one research part. And what were we trying to research? Well, you know, we could upgrade engines, pots, nets. But no nets yet. Actually, just rods. We did buy this, but we don't have space for it at the moment. I think that uh, getting a flexible fishing pole is a reasonable idea. So is getting a better engine to make us faster. So I'm going to spend one right here and just go into speed. I like moving quicker. Then I'm also going to go to the material pile. You can see on the right. And this is where the builder wants the materials. Actually, you know what? I lied. I have everything she needs. So I'm just going to complete the quest. You don't have to do this now. You can, um, upgrade your ship first, but I like doing this, just finishing the, the mission. You deliver the necessary materials, you should let the builder know. So, we're going to need to bring the builder back here so she can move in, but we're done. Now, you can stay the night there, because it is night, so we have to be careful when driving. And watch out for the red. But there's enough buoys. Just follow these back. Like, these will help you stay true. You can see the eye is starting to change colors in the top center of the heads-up display. We're losing our grip. But if I move back within here, uh, my light went out. Put Hold the left bumper, select the top, and then push X again. Sometimes the light will go out. You just need to turn it back on. And I'm going to kind of just keep driving this way. And there's some fish. Oh, but look at that. Even around this light, you see how that rock just appeared out of nowhere? So I need to go behind it, and I am going to... Oh, I'm going to get hit. Okay. Oh, we lost our sh uh, ring. The citrine ring. Sorry, I was so excited I couldn't even speak. You see how that giant fish bonked us? That's what happens when you're out late. So we lost a bunch of money from the citrine ring. Not a ton, but some. And our ship has also been damaged. So if I pull into the harbor right here and I dock, you can see that um, if I go to my ship, 
You see how I have two damage. That hit me, and I have two damage you can see out of three. So I didn't get sunk, but that could have happened. And now two of my hull cannot hold things because it's been damaged. So we need to worry about that. I'm going to push this in storage. And I'm going to say, all right, we have some you know, bad boat uh, motors. But what we can do now is I'm going to quickly go to the shipwright. And she says, your boat's banged up. I can repair that. And it's 30 per each injury. So we have to pay 60. Hold Y. Fix it. Now you'll see we have zero damage out of three. And we can hold everything that we need. Additionally, um, if I want, I can go back over here and I could potentially try to buy um, a better motor. But the problem is that my... Um, oh, repair mode active. Whoops. Um, push right trigger to leave repair mode. This motor is 15 knots, and it's way better than my 10 knot. So I'm going to buy this um, and install it instead of uh, this one right here. There we go. And so you see I have um, this one and... This rusty outboard engine, I'm just going to hold X to sell it for 50 bucks. So now I have 14 knots, which is the engine you start with, the peculiar engine. And I have a 15 knot improved outboard engine installed in the back. And this is as fast as I can go right now. I could buy another one of these, but she's not selling it. And it's not worth just one knot, in my opinion. You see our boat speed is up to 39 knots. Uh, so that's fantastic. And I'm going to go back. And let's talk to the builder. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. So you need to now pick up the builder and put her in your boat. So she's big. She's a human. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. And I'm actually going to rest instead of sailing out. Just wake up at this time, and we're good. You can see my crab pots. The light is um, off. And why is that off? Because they're broken. So I need to pick them up. and repair them. This one did catch something. Let's go check. And we caught a fiddler crab. So um, we can take it. And let's go back and sell the crab, repair our pots, drop them, and drop off the builder. So we're going to swing in. Yep, there we go. And let's see. Fishmonger. Hold down, sell all fish. And that sold for 32. I mean, that's a big one. And then we have to go over to the ship right, and she'll fix it. Each crab pot for 15 bucks. So, you can see it cost 15 to repair each, and we've already made more than that, but they pay for themselves, but you do have to factor in the upkeep cost. I'm going to hold left bumper, select crab pot, I'm going to drop one here, one here, alright, and we're good to go. I'm going to quickly go drop off the builder, complete the quest, get the reward, and get her off my boat, because I can't hold very much. Oh, look at this. We finished reading our boat our book, Correct Engine Operation. So this gives you 5% more movement speed than listed on our engines. So that's fantastic. We have no more books to read at the moment. But we're moving much faster. Oh, um, no, that's not salvage. I thought it was dredge for a moment. No, that stripe just means we can't fish it because we don't have the technology. Here's some salvage over here, though. It's money, so this is fine. It's not my favorite. Really, I'm always looking for... Uh, so these are some earrings. The technology I need for build, uh, making my boat better. Make life easier. Let's drop off the builder. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. So she's giving us research parts, which is phenomenal. So I'm going to pick this up and put it on my boat. Pick this up just using right and left analog stick to move between. And I'm going to undock. But look at this. Right by her, um, 
there's plenty of dredge. So you have to be really careful. Just don't go too fast here because you don't want to run into stuff. But there's a shipwreck. There's also just some lumber here. So let's start dredging. You will always need this dredge stuff. So it's never bad to have it. Remember, it doesn't sell for any money, but it's what we use to upgrade our boat at all phases. Certain quests may, re you know, ask about it. And we can dredge here. This is uh, some fun materials. And we found a goblet, which we can sell. So we have a bunch of items to sell. And here's some stuff. Scrap metal. Bam. Um, Alright, I'm going to need to uh, do a little bit of surgery here to make room for another piece, but I do have it. All right, great. Um, can I wedge in another one of these? Yes. Great. Now there's more, but I can't hold it, and it's also late. So what I'm going to do is just very, very quickly turn around and go right back to the builder's port. Because from here, I can actually just drop everything off. So I can go to... Um, no, I totally lied. There's no storage here. But we can rest. I'm going to research, though. This will get rid of some stuff in my inventory. And I don't want to lose it. So you could go ahead and get this fishing pole if you want, but I really like speeding to the jet drive engine. You need five research parts, but at the beginning of the game for a lot of these quests and such, you get a bunch of these. I'm going to spend one. I'm going to spend two. And then if you do this, you won't need to buy any of these other engines because this is the most efficient. You can see it's 9.5 per square. So even though this is 26.3, it takes up three. So this is the most efficient use of space, and we get... Um, you know, all the benefits, the 5% extra speed or whatever. You see there's a ship out there, by the way. Moving around. You can check that out if you want. I am going to be a coward and go back. And there's some night fishing we could do here. Oh, but we don't have the, the right tech. So I'm just going to... Try to get home. Now you see in front of me that swirly with the different colors. That is an indication that there's a mutated fish right there to be caught. So watch out for that rock that popped up that's not normally there. And then we can fish. And I'm going to try to get the fish that's here. And we got it. It's a barbed eel. We don't have a lot of space, sadly. I might not be able to take this. Um, I'm going to play some Tetris here to see if I can fit that lumber anywhere. Where would I be able to fit it, though? No, there's no place. Not with all these squares and such. So we're going to have to leave that there. Uh, but I'm okay with it. You're safe right in here. I need to go drop off this uh, money. Now I can pull right in. And here we can go to storage. And we're just going to push Y on all of this salvage. And then we can complete the quest for the fishmonger by turning in the mutant part. And he says, you got any? And we say, yes, we do. And we put it over here. And he takes the fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, 81 bucks. This should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And he gives you two research parts. So remember when I was just saying, like, you get a bunch of these at the beginning? So it's worth just dedicating them all into the best motor. 
Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. Um, I don't have anything to sell, so let's just leave. And his door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. So I think it's worth going to the dry dock and seeing what we can start to upgrade. Now, I want to upgrade um, rod spaces. And we can start putting stuff in. But remember, we don't have anything in our inventory. But guess what? In our storage, we do. So you can push right bumper to go over here. And then you can just start pick, uh, picking these things up and putting them where they need to go. Now, we need a bolt of cloth uh, to finish this. But we've got now three. Then I'm going to go back. And you can start adding these on whenever you want. So I'm going to go to engine space. And I'm going to go to storage. And we can already finish this one. And then you, t you spend 100 bucks, and now our hull can hold two more engines. Okay, so good. Light space, need two lumber. Well, I have a lumber, so let's go. Perfect. All right, so I'm just putting these things in here. You need to do all of them to get to the new hull, so you can do these in whatever order that you like. Now, you can see if I go to the shipwright, my boat down at the bottom I can hold two more engine however this does take away from my cargo capacity so you need to pay attention to that um, I'm going to go to research and I'm going to go to the engine and I'm going to keep putting my stuff here one two perfect now I just need one more research part and we've got the jet drive engine and we can add those to our new engine spots oh I need to sleep what am I doing this is not the right time to move out I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go right across the way. We did catch crabs, actually, so let's just take all. And take all. And take all. Now, the guy might be closed, actually. Let me check in with the fishmonger, see if he's open. He's funky. He closes. Uh, yeah, his door is barred, so it might take him a day before he opens back up, so... This is a good day to do dredging, then, if he's not going to be open. Let's go over and sell all of our trinkets, by the way. Let's look for the belt buckle. There's a lot of dredge over there. We can complete that quest. You could also go focus on the story quest if you want. There's no real rush to do that. I like doing all the side quests. Getting rewards for these. Um, I'm going to pull in. I'm just opening space up by selling all this. Go to the trader... And I'm going to sell everything. And we got 67 bucks. How about that? Okay. So, uh, don't want that. This is potentially some lumber, so I'll dredge it. Even if you get enough lumber for your current tier of research and upgrades at the dry dock you can save it for subsequent tiers. Um, let's collect this, and we got a, a bit of lore, and here's the shipwreck that we need for the quest. You can see the ship is right around here. Um, you can dredge it. There's a jewelry icon. We can get some kind of trinket, and we got an old iron chain. Let's look at this one. This one moves really fast. Oh, God. That's embarrassing. And we got the belt buckle. And then now there's some dredge right here. Which is kind of get a little bit closer. I'm trying to stay as far away from these rocks and to make my leaving these rocks as easy as possible. Alright. We got metal scrap. A lot of the times in metal scraps, this is where you can find extra research parts. Okay, great. We depleted it. It's pretty much time to go home anyway. But I think there might be another spot right... No, 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 I lied. Okay, all right. Well, let's go turn in... Oh, here it is. 
fantastic. And, oh, this is cloth. We have to have this. This is great. All right, we got one bolt of cloth. Let's put it right here. I'm going to start moving my items down so I have more room for cloth. We can hold two more. It's depleted. That's fine. Let's go back turning this in. It's getting late. Don't get too close to the coast. Watch for any ro extra rocks that emerge that you weren't expecting. There's some night fishing, but remember the guy isn't buying, so no reason. Let's pull in. You can access your storage here, so I'm going to just push Y, put all of these big parts in there. And then now I can talk to the uh, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man? Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his... Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I've not got any money to pay you, but this might hold value. And so, we did it. We now have the best engine. Um... Can I help you with anything else? I'd better go. Trader. Let's go ahead and sell the chain. And let's go to research. And let's finish this right here. So now the jet drive of engine is available in stores. Now I'm going to just rest. So that there's no danger. And we can kind of go over here and just fish if we want make a little money the mutated fish you will find most frequently at, in the evening not to say that you it's impossible to find them during the day but you look for the kind of swirly odd colors as an indicator all right I'm gonna go back I can't catch many more fish now anyway Okay. Let me then go to the fishmonger. Are you open yet? Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Okay, so great. So I can sell everything. Make 71 bucks. Perfect. And I'm going to leave. And then I'm going to go back to the dry dock. And, for example, the rod spaces, we can go to storage, and we did get the bolt of cloth. We can put that in, and we can buy this, and we could start working on um, light space. We have all of this. I don't care. It's like some of these are only okay, but the reason you're doing this is so that you can get to the next boat because it will be bigger. It will just have more space and a different layout, which is what we want. I'm going to go to the ship, right? And you see how I have these two spots for engines down here? I'm going to buy engines from her. However, she only sells one of these at a time. They're expensive. It's 300 But I'm going to buy it. And, um... Uh, let's see. No, I don't want it in storage. Huh. Ah. Okay, here. Pick up. No, I don't want to discard it. Um, to cargo. Here we go. Then, I can install it. All right. Takes one hour. But now we're so much faster. And perfect all right so let me see do i have any crabs to catch right here i think i do let's go pick these up Ooh, nice fiddler teeny guy oh i picked up the whole thing uh well we need to, when you it needs repair you can just pick it up and you'll get the crab and the trap i'm gonna drop this one trap that i have though it doesn't need fixing and let me go back we will sell 
our fish. I guess these are crabs, but we get 71 bucks for those. And then we'll go over here to the shipwright and we will repair our pot for 15 bucks. We have 158 bucks. Let's check out the dry dock. And um, we really just need net spaces. So let's go to storage. And we have one piece of cloth we can put in. And we're getting closer to a new hull. But you see, for a new hull, we need a lot of stuff. We need planks, metal scraps, fabric, and uh, a different resource that we haven't found yet. All right. Fantastic. All right, everybody. So we're doing great. We installed a new engine. We moved the builder. We've been upgrading our boat at the dry dock, doing a lot of dredging. We've closed up some mini quests. And now it's time to go work on the main quest and continue upgrading our boat. I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun, and I hope you're enjoying Dredge. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.